Hi everyone, just getting my camera sorted and computer sorted and I will be right there. So, alrighty. <clears throat> So welcome. Um, I know you can only see half of me, but that's okay. Um, you don't need to see me for this. You need to see what I'm doing. So um, what I'm going to do is that little piece that I did yesterday with that template that I had for the cathedral windows, this one, I'm going to actually use this to quilt on. So I thought, well, this is a good way to explain to you how you can actually do it. Um, on something <clears throat> that you've already got made or you could do it block by block however um, it suits you so because you can make this up into bits at a time uh, you I thought this is a perfect one and it's a quilt as you go so you can either quilt it before you put the the center bit on or quilt it afterwards like I'm going to do now you're going to see the thread because it's black um, and I'm going to um, just allow that to be but what when you're actually quilting this you would quilt um, a soft pink or a white something that will blend in nicely hi from grand babysitting duties <laughs> hey g'day hi Liz hi Doreen hi everyone hi Naomi good morning everyone so um, so just to let you know that's what I'm going to quilt on I've got a couple of templates here I'm also going to show you a little bit of um, <clears throat> A beauty about these these templates which some of you have already seen before hi Janine hi Liz now these templates um, they're like a, a soft one um, I have got something in the wind but these are great for um, you know your beginner as well but this this um, this will give you an idea now I sort of looked at some of these that I had already open I mean I've got hundreds of them but the ones that I have in my stock, I just sort of looked at and went, okay, well, will that fit in? That actually, this one here could actually fit in. But what I find is, is that the the flower would go over the top of the, um, the cathedral window each time. So it's probably a little bit big for that. Morning, Alan, Karen and Claire. Good morning, everyone, who I have <laughs> nothing from grandson sitting uh, sitting top. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that one I'm going to pop aside. It's not one I'm going to use today. This is another one I thought I could put a little, um, little bug in each one or something like that. So that's a possibility. And the other one I thought of was this, but again, it won't quite sit where I want it to. Um, I would have to tweak it a little bit. And for this demo, I don't really, you can see here how it sort of sits because I can see from the darker colour, see through it, that it sits past my cathedral windows. So I don't really want to do that. So that one's a no too. So we're going to do a couple of bugs. <clears throat> Good morning, Claire. So now I've just got to pick which one I want to do. Um, and I could do one of each and each thing. But what I'm finding is the butterfly, its wings, I would have to again tweak that because the wings sort of sit over the top of the the actual you can see they sit straight over the top and they go there's my thing so I would have to stitch over the top of my windows again the B sits in there beautifully and the um, dragonfly again just I mean the tail goes over you can just see the tail going over here so I'm going to go with the B the B seems to be the one to go with now these these templates are quite easy to use um, there is a technique in using them though and I find a lot of people will think because they're called pounce pads that you have to pounce them um, the only pouncing is to get the powder from in here which is where we put it it's like a well and then out to here and to get it out you pounce it in your hand that's the only pouncing you do these here if the grandies get a hold of them you can you know as long as you don't cut them you can use them for screen printing and that sort of thing and they iron out nicely you can also put them in um, the dishwasher or washing machine whatever because they'll withstand the heat and and that of that as well and they do iron flat could you leave the tail off and make it a butterfly? You could, absolutely, yep, <clears throat> absolutely could. Um, still need to, I'd have to just round it off, but I thought for today's little episode, I thought I would do something that I don't need to tweak. 
so the but uh, the the bee is going to be the one so we're going to do the bee's knees so he fits in beautifully i'll pop it on this one you can see sits right in amongst that window just nicely so what i need to do now <clears throat> once i've chosen the uh, template and i can make him go different directions each one or i can make him go the whole the same way i can adjust it around so that each one's different it doesn't really matter the 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 end result is the same it's all quilted so i'm going to pop him there right there and you can see i've missed all that that darker part there you can see that's the window the window's edge and i'm wanting to come inside that now once you've got your powder down into here on that thing there i'm using a blue because the white and the pink will just disappear so Put it down and swipe. You can swipe twice, three times. Don't move your template until you've swiped properly. Take it off and there's your design. And you see he sits in there nicely. <clears throat> I can't get rid of this <clears throat> thing. It's driving me nuts. So that's ready to go. But what I do is I just shake a little bit of the excess off. Just a little. So it's a little bit fainter, but it means that um, I don't have a huge amount of excess chalk bouncing around now i've got my foot quite loose i'm going to move this camera he's cute there you go hopefully oh, there we go a little bit on angle try that hoping it doesn't fall so i'm going to put my foot in the down position and i'm i've got that loose for a reason because i want that to sit on that fabric like a duck on water I don't want it pushing down and I'm using a ruler foot because ruler feet don't bounce. You don't want it bouncing because the more it bounces, it's going to bounce your chalk off. So tighten that up nicely, not finger tight, okay? Finger tight is too um, too loose. I'm still leaving my, my screwdriver here just beside me because sometimes when you start stitching it pushes the fabric down and that means that I have to adjust that foot again and drop it down a little bit more now on this oops on this template I can see I have to start here or here it's going to be in uh, three lots so I'm going to do the head and body and then the two wings and there's so there's two cutoffs there's two stop and starts so I'm going to start here and work my way down so I'm going to put my foot down. This will work the same on your standard sit-down machine. I'm actually just going to manually get that there. I want to bury that thread. I can always trim that off. Now, I've got my feed dogs moving, so I'm going to stop them in a minute. So put your feed dogs down <clears throat> and your needle down. Hi, Terry. How are you going? got my gloves on it's really important I try not to touch any of the chalk with the glove because it will rub it off now I it, I tend to go reasonably slow not overly fast but the first couple of stitches I just take just to get my speed and then I just follow it around now once that chalk line's gone no one can see if you have or haven't hang on just need to lift that up off that yep. have or haven't gone on that line okay so just remember that so if you go off the line don't panic just keep moving I haven't adjusted any um, tension or anything on this um, you might need to on your manual sit down machine um, normally I will adjust the tension to about five or six on the top tension <coughs> excuse me so I'm just going to do this body and then show you what I've done and cut off now I'm just going to trim off that little bit of thread there you can bury your threads if you want to but for my demo I'm not really worrying about it um, I did take one little step there, but that just looks like he's got a smile now. And there's none on the back because it buried it. So that is his little body so far. So that's all stitched. Then we're going to do one wing and then the other. 
So you put your needle down, couple of stitches, and then take off. Whenever I teach any kind of free motion quilting, I always suggest to take those couple of stitches first. <clears throat> so you can get your rhythm and then take off. Don't try and do it the other way around. And a little one there. And that's the second wing. Morning, Terry. Lift up my foot. And I'm going to go the second one. The gloves make it easy because I'm not having to shove and push. If you don't already have these quilting gloves, you really need to invest in them. They are the ant's pants. <clears throat> and there he is. Oops, upside down, Miss Jane. There he is, all done. Now, to get the... Give it a bit of a bang. A bit of a wipe with me glove because that's... I found a, a, uh, another bonus with the gloves. And there he is, all quilted. How easy is that? Now I can go and do the next one. I could have him facing. Let's do another one. Let's repeat. Let's go in and just make sure he's lined up okay. You can sort of see where the wings go, where the tail goes. <clears throat> they, they, aren't they amazing, these gloves? They're just so amazing. Honestly, they have... I've had people just say, well, it's given them the courage to actually quilt. They always thought it was them, and it's not. It was the tools. So there we go. There's the next one. Now, just rem oh, I broke my thread. Just remember, if they're not exactly the same, it doesn't matter. Um, with this, you would obviously have the same colour thread as you do um, fabric. So you're not going to see any little indiscretion. You're only going to see it with mine at the moment because, and I'll just do a cut off, because, um, come on, there we go. Oh, I did it again. Oh, you little booger. Too short. Um, how much are the gloves? Kerry Lee, they are, gloves are amazing. Good. Um, they are 42 I have seen them um, advertised on Amazon at 50 something plus postage, which I thought was a bit out there. Anyway, I'm, oh, wrong foot. And just take off. So this one I didn't quite get enough of the chalk off, so you might see a little bit of chalk residue as I'm sewing, floating around, but that's okay. Now if you don't want to do the cutoff thing, you can actually just lift up your needle and go to the next spot, which I'll do in this one. So I'm just going to do a couple of stitches backwards, lift up my foot, oops, and the needle, hey, up, lift up the foot, and foot, <laughs> drag it over to the closest starting point and do a couple of stitches and then take off. And that just helps knot it in place. Oops, I cut off, doesn't matter. We can keep going. But if you notice, I'll always do those couple of stitches when I first start, just to get my rhythm. And there I go. So you can see there, do you want the first project that's really got me excited to start sewing again? Can't wait for the template to arrive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely, Kerry. Yep, so there's your next one. All right, now you can see that you can see the residue because I didn't blow enough of it off, but don't stress. Just give it a bit of a bang. On the side, get your gloves, wipe off that excess, cut off your threads, and we're ready to do another one. So, cool bizzo. And because you've done that forward and back little knot, I did a knot off there, which was a bit silly of me. Anyway. Blind man, I'd love to see it. Where's Jimmy when you need him? Just 
trim that little bit of muck off there. And like I say, because I'm using black on um, a light colour, you're going, you're going to see every little indiscretion. All right, so there's the second one. So I've got two done. How cool is that? Now, I can go and keep going and just do a different bug each one. I can just have them all facing inwards. You know, it's... <laughs> Thanks, Claire. <laughs> um, so it's entirely up to yourself, but you can see how quick and easy that was to do it. All right? And they don't... See, they're not sitting exactly the same. They don't have to be to make them look okay. You can... <clears throat> have the next one facing the other way, facing outwards. So let's do this. Have him face the other way. A little bit of a shake. So now he's going to face that way. Let's stitch him now. Oops, a days. Needle up, Michelle. I've got my shoes on. I never quilt with shoes on, and I've got them on, which means I've got clod hoppers for feet. Honestly, this ruler, this little design is so easy to do. Like the the actual, I, I couldn't believe how easy it was. Oops, that was a bit off the target. That's all right. And we'll just do it. And you can see, I mean, the machine looks like it's going fast, but I'm just sort of ticking along. There's no, I'm not doing the Speedy Gonzales thing. Just a couple of stitches back. Lift up your needle, lift up your foot, over there, and a couple of stitches just to knot it off. Turn around, a couple of stitches back, lift up your needle, pick up your foot and move it over. That'll also mean you won't have any, t oops, I ran out of bobbin. That'll also mean you won't have any tie-off bits. So I'll get back to that in a minute. I do have another bobbin prepared. You're going to love it. I only filled that up yesterday. I'll show you how to get back onto the track. So got him almost done. Can I please have a pounce pad? I've only got blue. Uh, I hope everyone have been absent for so Oh, no, Jennifer. have missed you, Michelle. I've missed you guys too. Where have you been? You've been to visit the Queen, darling. <laughs> so I'll just change the bobbin over. Nice and easy with the machine. Um, I don't know if you saw uh, Hans did a, a demo the other day. Uh, there's a new version of this come out where it doesn't have the... the Mechanism is all electronic for um, speed stitch length and stuff like that now, which is pretty cool. And they're still the same price. So if you're interested in one of these machines, let me know because I can get you a nice three hundred and fifty dollar jack pack and come and set it up with you and show you how to use it. I just can't get that in there. Why are you being naughties? Come on, baby. I got it going the right way. Yeah, got it going the right way. Um, oh, the scissors are also. Are you going to do another demo on the use of the template for those who couldn't get into the classroom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, yes, I am. Um, don't sort of panic with that. You can actually um, get into it afterwards if you've paid the. Oops, a days. I've moved my thing. Um, if you've paid the $20 fee, oh, there we go. No, it's not. It's going to be a nice little bugger. Hang on. Try again. Oh, yeah. That'll be why. I've just realised why. <sighs> Michelle. Hang on. Let me do one thing. Let me go needle down. Up. All right. Get that out of there. What have I done? Oh, <laughs> got it caught. 
Um, yeah, so these machines are really, really easy to use. Um, I'm just making it look hard. There we go. Pounds per, please. How much are the machines? Um, I, off the top of my head, I, they were, I think, three. Um, they come with the table and everything. Why am I having so much trouble today putting that in? It's an operator error. I call it OE, operator error. I've got it going the wrong way again. There we go. Now you silly bugger. What the hell? <clears throat> Nine times out of ten with um, machines like this. Oh, yeah, I had it going the wrong way. <laughs> it's an OE. Normally is. All right. Okay. I'm going to just top up. I'm up here. I'm putting my bobbin on. And that's going to fill up as I sew. So I'm never out of bobbin. Close that. Now, um, I'm just going to try and grab that with my fingers. They're not going to grab. There we go. Um, let's put a bit of thread around. The needles wrapped around the needle. There we go. I'll grab those orders um, when I finish the video because I can't sort of see them for looking. There we go. So if you need to reline up, just go back a few stitches, place your needle down manually. And I'm holding on to that thread. And this has an auto bobbin feed, so I don't have to bring the bobbin up if I don't want to. Oh, I think I just broke the thread again. Oh no. And, I mean, you should bring it up, but I don't because I'm lazy. There we go. Just trim that off the back. I made a bit of a boo-boo. Just get rid of those threads. Not that it matters. It's only a sample piece. Yeah, I did. It broke a thread. I'm going to come back here. Bit of a messy one. But she's done anyway. That'll be all right. It's a little bit of messy there, but that's okay. Have a large audience watching you. <laughs> Always pressure, pressure. So let's uh, let's go this way with this one. It's always the way, Louise. Always the way. Bounce your pad and give it a swipe. Take that away. Get rid of the excess. It's always going to happen when you've got an audience. This has a little bit too much chalk, I can tell already. Do a couple of stitches, get it going. The beauty of this machine is that it is doing the... Um, bobbin at the same time a bit fast And they are industrial, so they will actually um, go through bags and leather and all that sort of stuff and then straight into um, something like chiffon or silk or whatever without having to really change anything on them. They're, they're pretty good that way. That one's better. Take off my little snippets. Hmm. So 
photo right on the back this time. All good. So that is my fourth one. So there you go. So I've made them go in different directions. So now it doesn't matter. Life's been happening guaranteed to save some money though. <laughs> Probably. So they, they can go in different directions, but that is now quilted. So um, it is all ready to go. And I only used one template. It took me, what what time is it now? Um, I can't see you from that far away. Oh, 20 minutes. And that was with a lot of talking and fluffing around and doing a demo. So I've now got those done in that shorter period of time. Trust me with the templates. They work. The pounce pads work also. Um, they, they do take time to get used to. And it is a swiping motion. Okay. So not... A pounce on your fabric motion um, that's all right Deb yep it'll be there for watching and um, eventually I'll load it up to uh, YouTube also so swipe um, on your fabric not bounce on your fabric you only bounce into these I do have blue in stock at the moment um, they are quite popular and blue is quite a common one to use the only one you probably wouldn't use blue on would be Oh, you can use it on dark fabrics, but like a light blue, it's very hard to see on a lighter blue. All right, so um, that is um, that is that that is done. That is quilted, and uh, I will do another demo next week on this ruler. I'm ordering more in today. Can't get onto your YouTube. Oh, why is that, Deb? Michelle's patchwork. Click on the link and go in, and and you should be able to. One of those videos I shared should be able to go in and um, just watch them. There's no restrictions or anything. So it should be all good. But they will be here on Facebook anyway. All right. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you at 12 o'clock for a, um, a, quick, uh, a quick live sale. And um, I'll uh, talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>